English teachers, what topic on a write about anything essay made you lose hope in humanity? Hope in I was teaching a university 101 class. Study habits, how to write essays, time management, how to get by at college for kids who honestly aren't really ready for college. The assignment, one paragraph about something that interests you. One of those essays read, I'm interested in blueberry muffin. Like how they round on the top and ripped on the sides. That what I like I kept that on my fridge for a year. I had a poetry unit my first year of teaching. Learned very quickly that they could write about anything but teenage love. Got, I read so much bad love poetry that year. Former English adjunct here. One time a student wrote about a first date that went horribly wrong, including running over a cat and having it stuck to his truck tires and then vomiting at dinner. Another one that stands out was not a topic, but an assigned research paper. A student maintained that she did not need sources because God told her the information. She actually cited God as a personal interview in correct MLA format. <laughs> to stand out. First one the prompt was, if you could go back and change one thing from your life, what would it be? A young man wrote about the night his abusive alcoholic dad came home. Apparently from the story, dad came home this way often. The fateful night he wanted to change was the first time he stood up to his dad. Dad came home, kid defended his mom and dad in a drunken rage left. Dad got into a head-on collision and died. Kid totally blamed himself for his father's death. Second story the prompt was create a holiday and what the traditions and customs of the holiday were. A student created National Black People Day. I was like okay, how are you going to celebrate it? She said by killing white people. I was like what? She said yeah, once a year we can kill as many white people as we want. I got the counselor involved in both of them. Not an essay, but we were doing impromptu speeches, and one guy recited the Weird Al song oh ra oh boo oh ra oh word for word until the teacher finally told him to stop after 10 minutes. Our English teacher told us that some guy copied an article from the Italian Wikipedia thinking it was in English. How high do you have to be to not know what your own language looks like? I feel like I know the exact story behind this. Dude. You cannot just rip it straight from Wikipedia, teachers check that. But to get around it, you can use a wiki from another country. Brilliant. I'll do that. My HS English teacher had to state, due to a submission the year before, that writing about your foot fetish and pleasuring your so with your feet would not be read or graded. A Catholic high school in my hometown asked for students to write about what they would do if there were no laws or lack of morals. This was inspired by the purge, which had been discussed in ethics class. Twelve students were suspended indefinitely, two or three ended up expelled, the others returned eventually for what they wrote, ranging from date rape to human trafficking to mass shootings. Even though the assignment made it more than obvious that it was a fictional assignment, and by relating it to the purge pretty much goaded students into matching the level of lawlessness made national news, there were articles by psychologists for days. They even mentioned the reddit ask a rapist thread and the psychologists response to not create a feedback forum. Not a single article even came close to suggesting that if you give 17 to 19 year olds an opening to go against good taste, that most of them would do so for shits and giggles Two students, the day rape one and the mass shooting one did not find another school and did not graduate or at least had to redo their last year. How did the school not realize that it would be a shit show the moment they assigned it? My suspicion is the teachers got blinded by their own perspective on watching the Purge movies and, given that this was an ethics class, expected one of three things. All the students would take the position of the obvious good guy, because he's the good guy, of course, and write about how they would shelter people, or go out being a roaming protective badass, because it's basic human responsibility slash duty to be good to others. They'd write about some ridiculously complex offensive scheme to fortify their home against purges. At worst, they'd write some complex scheme to get themselves ludicrously rich during the purge. Like, I steal a bunch of gold and bury it until the statute of limitations has run out kind of thing, but with more detail. Until last year, my students, 7th grade, ages 12 to 13, had to do a science fair project. 
they had to create a topic with a testable theory. Uh, uh, does brand X detergent get more stains out than brand Y? Uh, this was accompanied with a research report of the topic. I would give the students a sample report I created. Every year, I would tell them not to cop from their sources, and I would easily find out who did. Every year, some literally copy word for word from of the easiest of sources, Wikipedia. Q Mab parents. Q exact copies of the report, side by side with the highlighted portions of the report. Not a teacher but stepfather. My daughter was a HS kid wrote a report about weather cut and paste from the internet. The language varied in writing style and grade level from paragraph to paragraph. I offered that rewriting in her own language was the minimum she could do to avoid making it obvious she plagiarized. She decided elementary school level was her style and chose to rewrite the college level paragraphs. When she thought an acceptable substitution of a cloud de presse or no was aereth weather is sada who, I just gave up. In high school, we had a history essay to write about JFK, and one of my classmates wrote the entire essay by naming him J.E.A. and Ash F.R.A.N.A.O.I.S. Kennedy. Yes it was in France, my teacher was so astonished by it, he asked her why she didn't vote the abbreviation JFK instead of guessing the name, and she answered that she actually thought his name was J.E.A. and Ash F.R.A.N.A.O.I.S. Kennedy who doesn't know his real name is John Fortnight Kennedy. I teach literature at a college and mostly deal with freshmen and sophomores. For our free writing unit, one of the assignments asked the students to write any original story based on your favorite fictional genre. So, one of my students wanted to do horror. I said great. That's also a favorite of mine. Go nuts. Eventually, the assignments are turned in and I'm grading them at home. I get to the kid with the horror story and it's about a serial killer who stalks women. Okay, whatever. Nothing I haven't seen before. But then the story goes into long, excruciating detail about the next victim this killer plans on stalking slash raping slash murdering, a petite blonde in her early 30s who teaches English. And it just so happens I'm a petite blonde in her early 30s who, well, yeah. I didn't report it or anything, since it was a creative exercise. I didn't grade him unfairly either. But I seriously couldn't look that kid in the eye ever again. Edit, still alive. But holy shit, guys. If you like asterisk THAT asterisk story, I got a ton more. For example, my students do journals and the stuff they write sometimes. I had one of them admit he ran a crack den in his basement. Now that I reported. I took an SAT preparation course one summer which would teach you a variety of tricks and tips for doing better as well as practicing taking tests. Amidst telling us tips for the essay portion, they explained how the grading system worked and that you need to be slightly careful because if the people grading it feel they cannot be objective about it, then you'll just get a zero. They cited a story where, once the essay topic was we have no fate, but what we make for ourselves, which many of you might recognize, you were to discuss why or why not it was true. One student wrote an essay on how it was true, and went on to describe that the Holocaust was the Jews' own fault for his supporting evidence. Needless to say, he received a zero, because none of the graders could read it objectively. Fourth grade. I was teaching the kids how to write short stories. Kid wrote a story about going to a new school for the first day and being abused by teachers. It was awful. Turns out this kid was being abused by his dad and thought it was normal behavior for adults to act that way. Absolutely heartbreaking. Edit. My first silver. Thank you friend. Not a teacher, but in third grade I moved to a new school. I was in a Montessori before. The new school was a Catholic school. I was a Unitarian Universalist, and we always called our preacher Everend, not father. In my new school, the school priest. Father Jim was retiring and we had to write a short essay about how much we'll miss him. This was like, I dunno, the third day of school? I had no fucking clue what the hell a Father Jim was, and since nobody bothered to write out his full name I assumed this school just had a weird name for the gym. So of course, I wrote an essay about how much I'll miss the gym, and how terrible it's gonna be, that I can't run all over it, or play football in it anymore, and how terrible it is, that the gym is retiring. I ended the essay wishing the gym well with its new tires. The teacher was not amused. Not an English teacher. 
just a mother reading over her 10th grader son's essay two weeks ago. He had written something to the effect of, heaps of people have heaps of hobbies. So we had a conversation about using more academic language and employing a wider range of vocabulary. I come back 10 minutes later and he'd use the thesaurus function in word so it now read, piles of people have mounds of hobbies. Just, wow. It was not a write about on o 18 go read was more like a a creta story. My student, 9 years old, female, wrote about two best friends. They were at the mall when one of them got kidnapped by a villain, who put her in a suitcase and took her to London. Everyone searched for her, and she was found dead. The villain had murdered her. The police arrested and imprisoned him for 10 years and them killed him. The jailer's best friend was really sad and killed herself, and then they lived happy ever after. She is 9. 9. And wrote about kidnap, murder, police violence and suicide and romanticized suicide. Edits. Language. Edit I don't know the number I am truly sorry about my English. I know I write poorly but English is not my first language. I am sorry. We had to write short stories in high school English. My best friend was struggling for inspiration so me, self-absorbed teenager, told her to write about me when I'm a beautiful successful professional ballerina. She took the idea and ran with it, but took a dark turn and had me raped backstage by the director of the ballet company. She showed it to me proudly before class, and when she saw my face as I read it, started backpedaling hard about how it definitely wasn't about asterisk me asterisk me, she just got inspired. Not a teacher. In high school we got told to write a short horror story. Someone googled short horror story printed it out and handed it in. He literally just took a screenshot and printed it so you could see the URL and what he was watching on YouTube. Spoiler, he didn't pass. Was a substitute teacher in grad school and was filling in for an older English teacher. Students were to hand in their free write essays and then to read. Some kid wrote a straight up child pornography story. He stared at me like a deer in headlights while I was reading them, while they were reading. I made it one page and then I whatsapped the department head who took the student after the class. So yeah that was the worst.